This might seem like a silly tutorial, but I didn't know how to do this an hour ago, and now you are going to learn how to have a light only affect a single object. So the way we are going to do this is going to be cycle specific, which is kind of a bummer, but also I feel like people want to only do this in cycles. Imagine we have two objects and a light source that I'm going to make red so you can really tell what's going on. And I want this light source to affect object one, but not object two. Take this object, make it in a new collection. I'm going to call it lit. And then for the other one, hit M and we are going to call it unlit. As you might expect, uh, there is a setting in 4.0 and definitely 4.1 that lets us take this light and say, only look at certain collections. So go to the object properties, go to shading, go to light linking, and this is where the magic happens. I'm going to pick lit, and all of a sudden, you can see the light is pretty much only affecting the lit object. Now, you might be wondering, why is there a tiny bit of fall off over here? This is because the light is shining on this object, and then some of the light kind of reflects uh, back, and then we get this indirect illumination. If we were to go to our light paths and basically disable bounces by bringing our uh, number of bounces to zero, uh, it wouldn't show up. But just so you know. Also, if I add more objects, so let's add a monkey to the lit collection. This object is also going to be subject uh, to the slide, and you can make as many uh, collections as you want. So I can now switch the collection to unlit, and that will flip it. And the cool thing about this is you can have, um, you know, objects within a collection enabled and uh, disabled. Now let's add a second light source. This one is going to be blue. What I want to show you is that individual lights can have individual uh, light linking. So let's say this one is going for the unlit. What you're going to see is blue now only affects this one and red only affects that one. Can we go a bit further? Yes, we can. So I'm going to now add a plane. Let's say that we have a light source here that is like super strong. So I'm gonna make it much stronger. We get rid of the blue light, and then we also get rid of the light linking. Well, now we have a single light source that's illuminating everything. And in this part, I wanna talk about how do you get rid of a shadow? Instead of light linking, now you're gonna use a shadow linking. And just like before, we can go into individual objects and let's say the monkey should not cast shadows on the plane. Uh, get rid of that. Okay? And you can do this uh, for every object independently. And if I now get the plane out of this collection, we can again use the light linking to make it, you know, only on certain objects. So Basically, the point here is that light linking lets you say what lights go to what thing. It's kind of like light groups, but in the viewport and not just in compositing. So silly little tutorial, but very helpful, I find. 